uh, Will Kingsbury. Chairman Parker, Commissioner Mercier, my name is Kingsbury. I'm from Pittston, Maine, and I'm here to uh, provide comment opposed to the uh, newly developed metallic mining rules. And I have two issues that I'd like to address. Um, if you bear with me, uh, the first one is. Uh, the use of uh, wet mine waste units and tailings ponds uh, and the expectation that they can be remediated at mine closure. That is a fallacy. Um, it was discussed at length during the ENR deliberations earlier in the year. Um, the conclusion that was reached was that if you start out with wet mine waste, you end up with wet mine waste in perpetuity. If you start out with dry, if your uh, object is to end up with dry mine waste storage, you have to have dry mine waste storage throughout the process. Um, that is not only my opinion, it is the position of the McKay School of Mines at the University of Colorado. And I think that my colleague, uh, Dr. Marvini, would also uh, endorse that. So it is my position that you should remove wet mine waste unit storage from these uh, rules in their entirety, including tailings ponds, and instead use dry mine waste storage if that is in fact your intent at mine closure. Before I go on to my next one, is there any questions on that? Yes, thank you very much. What are your thoughts about? Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Well, I, I have two things to testify on. I thought maybe. Okay. okay. Uh, secondly, we heard from uh, Mr. Crawford that there had been an attorney general's office position stated. Uh, that uh, Title 12 MSR, MRSA 549 uh, allows for mining on public lands. Uh, I dispute that. Uh, in 1993, a ballot question and a citizen's initiative uh, was proposed to the citizens of the state of Maine that requires that before uh, public lands uh, can have a substantially altered use from conservation and recreation purposes that it has to, uh, it requires a two-thirds vote of the elected members of the both houses of the legislature. Um, this has been provided to, this position that had been provided previously to Assistant Attorney General Jerry Reed has more recently been provided to Assistant Attorney General Lauren Parker at Mary Sauer's insistence. Um, and they are looking at this position. Uh, we also have it with attorneys. Uh, of course, the ultimate uh, decider in this would be the Maine Judicial Supreme Court. Uh, however, uh, I just want it noted that this is under dispute, has been under dispute for some time. And the, and the reason this is under uh, dispute is that it seems that there are those that feel that a constitutional amendment uh, isn't super, is superseded by statute, which uh, we don't believe is the case once a constitutional amendment uh, has been voted on by the public, then that nullifies rules and statutes uh, 
uh, as unconstitutional under the Maine Constitution. So I provided an overview of that. I don't expect any questions on that particular one. I think that's something that the Attorney General's office has to take under consideration and, and eventually provide some guidance on, either pro or con, uh, and we'll uh, await that uh, with a bated breath. Yes, Professor Easter. Good to see Thank you again, you. Yeah, sir. My question. Thank you very much. You're very clear on what, what you're stating there. Question. I'm interested in your thoughts, if you have some now, about uh, a wet mine uh, disposal that's turned into concrete. In other words, the wetness gets resorbed by adding uh, appropriate amounts of lime and other materials to make a concrete out of the mine waste. So instead of a big pile of dry mine waste, you have damp mine waste, which is then mixed into a concrete and, and either protected underground possibly or above ground. I don't know. Any thoughts on that? Well, uh, that process for handling Group A waste is not currently specified or allowed under the rules that you've provided to the uh, uh, public. So I really don't have a comment on it. If it was in the rules as an allowable disposal, uh, we may be able to do that. But what we have are Group A, B, and C type wastes. And the Group A waste is the reactive wastes. And the rules allow for an earthen dam pond structure to be developed to contain those wastes. It has a two foot clay liner and a, a synthetic liner. And those waste ponds are used throughout the United States and throughout the world for not only mine waste, but for other types of, of uh, mineral wastes. And they fail regularly, especially under extreme climatic events like floods. All the more reason perhaps to consider some other alternatives in this deliberative process that we'll be going through over the next several months uh, and try to get this thing put together. If I'm interested in the way that you're coming at these topics, it's very good. And well, so I don't know whether that's something that could be uh, altered or not, but I just thought I'd bring it up. It, it isn't currently in the rules, so we haven't right. looked at it. Right. Further questions? Thank you.